What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Nasser and I'm now a third year medical student studying at King's College London. And in this video, I wanna tell you guys how to stop procrastinating in college. Now, as a medical student, I spend uh, a pretty decent amount of my time studying. And so it's crucial for me to know how to stop procrastinating, get started with work and finish what I need to get done. Let me tell you guys the five best tips I can think of of how to stop procrastinating. Now, the first thing that I do is I give myself rewards. This is actually my favorite tip of all time and is probably the reason why I can work so hard and get so much done. I always give myself rewards when studying. Personally, I study in four hour blocks and I always start with something to drink. It's usually coffee, but it could also be tea or a juice or even just water. So I tell myself, okay, Nasser, enjoy this beverage while you're studying. And at the one hour mark, you can go to the kitchen and get yourself a snack. And I'll usually get myself some apples, a bowl of grapes, candy, whatever it is. And you best believe that during that first hour of studying, if I'm ever feeling a little bit demotivated or I need a little bit of a push, I'm thinking about the snack that I'm gonna get as my one hour reward. I probably sound crazy right now, but trust me, you have to try this. After two hours of studying, I usually make myself some more coffee. And after three hours of studying, I take a five to 10 minute phone break. This way I'm continuously giving myself something that I can look forward to, something that has an end goal where I'm going to do something that isn't directly looking at this page and trying to study. Giving yourself these little rewards, no matter how small they are, really helps push you and keep you going until the next one. And then eventually, you're done with your long session of studying. The second thing that I do is I break down big tasks into smaller chunks. Sometimes when you've got a lot of studying to do ahead of you, for example, you have to write a really big paper or you have a big exam that you're studying for, it can be really intimidating to think that you have to do all of that in one go. If you break down the task into smaller pieces, for example, today I'm gonna write 500 words of my essay or I'm gonna go through lectures one to five for my upcoming exam, it becomes so much more manageable. It gives you a realistic goal that you can work towards and that you can actually complete in the foreseeable future. That way, when you complete it, you feel good about yourself, you cross it off your list and you move on to the next chunk of the bigger task. That feeling of completing a goal that you've set for yourself, even if it's a small one, is really motivating and it'll help you keep on studying. I'd love to hear from you guys in a comment down below about the tips and tricks that you use to stop procrastinating. The third thing that I do, and this one is really important, it's that I set timers for all of my breaks. If you're working on something for hours on end, it's only natural that you're gonna feel like you need a five or 10 minute break every now and again five minutes. And that's the difficult part. It's actually sticking to a five minute or 10 minute break on your phone and not just endlessly scrolling through Instagram for half an hour. If you want to take a break to make some tea, watch a YouTube video, or just browse through your social media, that's totally fine. But just don't forget to set a timer. And then as soon as that timer rings, close your video, lock your phone and just hide it. I don't care where you hide it. You can put it behind your laptop. You can put it in another room. You can give it to your friend and tell them not to give it back to you until you're done with your session. Just put your phone out of your sight. If you can't see your phone, Phone, it won't be on your mind as much and it's as simple as that. The fourth tip is about time management and making plans. The very first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I plan. And usually even before I go to sleep, I'll have a pretty good idea of what it is that I'm gonna do the next day. I sit down and think about exactly how many hours in my day I need to sit down and study, how many hours I can dedicate to chilling, doing chores, administrative tasks, whatever it is. And this way I have a good idea of all the different tasks that I need to do and how they're gonna come together. A very important part of this is to be realistic with yourself and not under estimate how long a task is going to take you. Any task that I need to do in my life, I always overestimate the amount of time that I think it's going to take. And the reason that I do that is because if I finish early, well then great, I've just earned some extra time in my day. And if I finish on time, then I've finished on time and I haven't pushed back the rest of my schedule because I underestimated how long it would take me to begin with. And now everything else is going to fall behind. There's no point in telling yourself that the essay you need to do is only going to take you two hours when it's probably going to take you around four. Just overestimate the time that you think you'll need and you'll be fine. My favorite Fifth and final tip for this video is to make sure that you actually do things you enjoy in your evenings and your nights off. There's no point in pushing yourself to study for 12 hours a day for five days and doing nothing that's fun at all because then you're gonna burn out and you're not gonna be able to study for the weeks to come up until your exam or your big paper. You have to actually chill, de-stress and let your mind and body relax before you wake up in the morning and start studying all over again. Play some video games, watch your favorite TV show, go out with your friends, do whatever it is that makes you happy. Because trust me, keeping a balance between between your chilling and your studies is how you're gonna be able to study for long periods of time. So yeah, balancing your life is key. And all right guys, I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. Don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel to see more content from me in the future. 